like to give appreciation um, to some of these sponsors of tonight's event. The Consulate General of Italy, Il Circolo Music for America, and the FAU Department of Languages, Linguistics, and Comparative Literature. Without their kind support, this event would not have been possible. In addition, I would also like to present the General Vice Consul of Italy in Miami, Dr. Eva Albino, who will say a few words to our guests, and especially Dr. Miriam Rippen. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for inviting me here today. Let me first of all convey Consul General Cristiano Musillo's greeting and our deep thanks to FAU for organizing this concert. I am honored to celebrate today Professor Miriam Rutenberg's career and commitment to teaching to the Italian language and to our country. Professor Rutenberg's strenuous effort and innovative action led indeed to the creation of the Italian Studies program at FAU back in 1993, the second program opened in the whole state. She went on with her dedication and served as a chair of the Department of Languages, Linguistics and Comparative Literature and has since then collected many awards and recognitions for her teaching activity as well as for, her, for the leadership she has provided. It is also with a deep pride that I want to remind you all that Professor Rutenberg has also been knighted by the Republic of Italy with the title of Cavaliere dell'Ordine della Stella della Solidarietà Italiana, a symbol and, a, and also an acknowledgement of how much he has done in order to promote the love for the Italian culture and language and thus reinforcing the ties between Italy and the United States. I am well aware that you all might know Professor Rutenberg better than I do. So let me just share with you something that I have only recently discovered about her that proves, I think, her long-lasting fondness for Italian writers, both past and contemporary. Professor Rutenberg, we share, I think I can say so, a passion for Eric De Luca, who you have researched and studied deeply. So again, Professor Rutenberg, thank you very much for being a partner in all those years. You will be highly missed, but your exceptional work and crucial contribution to Italy, to the teaching of Italian language will be greatly remembered. Thank you again. And now I would like to invite Antonella Brancaccio Balsano, who will represent our sponsor, Il Circulo, and she will say a few words in Miriam's honor. Buonasera, and welcome to this concert that, in my opinion, is a must-do to honor an advocate of Italian language and culture, Dr. Miriam Rutemer, the founder of the Italian Studies at FAU. And what a privilege to be here and share the stage with uh, artists like Tanner Carmo de Antonis, conductor Barbara Salami, and Professor Tanner and Ilaria Sen. I am proudly speaking on behalf of Il Circo, the Italian organization of South Florida that since 1976 strives to promote Italian culture and language. When I think about Dr. Rutenberg and Il Circo, I think about the perfect binomial. Dr. Rutenberg has been the device to implement our organization goal. Thanks to our tireless work, we have been able to sponsor approximately have a thousand students in 28 years. Yay. I had the opportunity to meet some of these students personally at the event called Benvenuto when they report back from the Italy trip. And many of them have said that that was the, the most rewarding and enriching experience that touched them personally and professionally, and some of them furthered their education in Italian studies 
and became advocate of Italian culture and language. As a board member, where else would I ask for? That dream that Father My Shreem had pictured decades ago. And that dream became reality thanks to 35 years of hard work of an outstanding woman and professor. So I'd like to say that tonight we do not celebrate a retirement. We celebrate a legacy to FAU, to El Circolo, and to ourselves. A legacy that will never die. And please welcome our Vice President, Chris Salomone, who has some words to say. very, very brief, Antonella said just about everything that could be said, and she ended with something that was very important. She used the word legacy. Very rarely in life do we find people who leave an indelible mark uh, on this world or on an institution. And, and Miriam, that is something that you have the honor, the privilege, and we have the honor and privilege of, of enjoying, having enjoyed for all of these years, and that this institution will get to enjoy in the future. So you have truly left an indelible mark on FAU, on South Florida, on the Italian culture, uh, and on all the people that get, have gotten to enjoy the wonderful, wonderful works that you have put into motion and perfected over these years. And so, with that, we just say, grazie mille per tu, per tu servizio e dedicazione da italiano linguista. Thank you so much for all of your efforts over these years. Thank you. With that, we have a very special message from one of the founders of Il Tricolo, Sally Valenti, we call her La Regina, she's the, she's the queen of Il Tricolo, and she is up in New Jersey for the summer, but she has a very special message for you and a poem. She sent it to you in a card, so you have it, you have it in writing to hold on to, but we're going to play it for you. She had created, she had uh, drafted a poem, a special poem uh, for Miriam. So, Miriam, this is for you. When 35 years ago you sought to teach Italian studies, you thought, we don't have the funds, said FAU. Il Circolo paid for the debut. Thus was started the Italian course. Tamburi Serra to reinforce. A full professor you then became, adding Cavaliere to your name. Now that retirement is to start, we wish you the best from our heart. We're proud of you. It's not the end. On Miriam's voice, we still depend. I love you, Miriam, from Sally Valenti. Okay. And now, let's start the concert. <laughs> Tutti noi sogniamo di partire per un'estate italiana, in vacanza o con lo study abroad program di FAU a Venezia. Purtroppo la pandemia ci ha bloccati, ma noi reagiremo come ha fatto il popolo italiano durante il lockdown per il Covid-19, cantando. Abbiamo scelto un brano che ha rappresentato l'unificazione dell'Italia, un inno per i patrioti italiani durante il risorgimento, quando l'Italia era ancora divisa. Vogliamo in Italia, con le ali dorate, cantando Va Pensierò. We all dream of leaving for an Italian summer vacation or with the FAU Study Abroad program in Venice. Unfortunately, the pandemic has blocked us, but we will react as the Italian people did during the COVID-19 lockdown, by singing. We chose a piece that represented the unification of Italy, a hymn for the Italian patriots during the Risorgimento, when Italy was still divided. Let's fly to Italy on golden wind, singing Va Pensiero. <laughs>
like to present the Director of Education of the General Consulate of Italy, Professor Maria Rosa Borghi, who has a message for us. Good evening, everybody. My special thanks to the piano player and composer Barbara Salani, to the great tenor Carlos De Antonis, to the professors of the Italian language and culture at Florida Atlantic University, and to the father of the Italian language, Dante Alighieri. We can feel the passion in what you do. If the teacher can propose Dante's anthem with the same fervor to the students, it will be a success, even if the students don't know how to sing. This song is a metaphor where the music is passion, the verses are about love, the song gives voice to these feelings. A great success, in my opinion, is not only to see it well interpreted, but the main goal is to excite those who cannot sing well, those who cannot play, or those who would not read the Dante. A great teacher, it would be better to say a great Mayenti, knows how to enhance the inner voices of his students to make them shine. He arouses passion which combined with determination and self-esteem, produces creativity, stimulates serious and hard commitment without feeling fatigued. He gives birth to the heart of expressing oneself also through the works of others. And when the wonderful resource of each one forms a chorus of emotions and voices. It creates inner knowledge and union of purpose between free people. Oggi è la prima rappresentazione mondiale dal vivo del inno di Dante Alighieri, tanto gentile e tanto onesta pari. Ispirato a un sonetto dedicato alla sua amata Donna Angelicata, Beatrice. La musica è stata composta da Barbara Sallani, ex alunna di Tardeglio. Il Consolato Generale d'Italia a Miami ha sponsorizzato l'inno di Dante, facendolo diventare il legame unificante tra tutti gli istituti di lingua italiana per la futura ventuntesima settimana della lingua italiana nel mondo. Questa esecuzione la dedichiamo con tanto affetto alla nostra esperta di Dante, dottoressa Miriam Kuttenberg. Today is the first live world premiere of Dante Leggeri's anthem, Tanto Gentile e Tanto Nesta Pate, inspired by a sonnet dedicated to his beloved angelic woman Beatrice. The music was composed by F.A.U. alumna Barbara Solani. The Consulate General of Italy in Miami sponsored Dante's anthem, making it the connection between among all Italian language institutes for the future. 21st week of the Italian language in the world. We dedicate this performance with great affection to our Dante expert, Dr. Miriam Rutherford.
Qui siamo in, in Florida, the Sunshine State, ma sono stati in Napoletania a dedicare una canzone alle belle giornate di sole dopo la tempesta. Auguriamo che il sole porti un po' di conforto ai nostri fratelli italiani e al mondo. Here we are in Florida, the Sunshine State, and the Rainy State. <laughs> but the Italians of Naples have dedicated a song to the beautiful sunny days after the storm. We wish that the sun will bring some comfort to our Italian brothers and to the world. Now, O Sole Mio by Capurro Capua Pantsuki. <laughs> Thank you. 
come ci dice Puccini in questa bellissima aria della sua opera Durandot, Nessun Dorma. Do not sleep tonight, for now, as Puccini tells us in this beautiful aria from his opera Durandot, Nessun Dorma, Nobody Sleeps.
I would like to really thank everyone, uh, starting from our Miriam and Mark over there, and uh, I, <laughs> the knight and the squire, as they say. And I see close to them there is uh, uh, our dean, Michael Horsfeld. Thank you for your support, Michael Horsfeld. And the usher, Heidi. I see Heidi, our student. And among the singers, I would like to recognize uh, Arianna, Shane, and uh, Misha, who are 1120 or 1121, and then Ryan and Angela, who are advanced and are going to graduate this year, this, uh, this uh, spring. And then Vicente and Valentina. Vicente earned an internship for this summer, uh, teaching, helping to teach Italian uh, with Miriam. And then Valentina, who is our Italian, authentic Italian, coming from Viareggio to, to from Sanremo to study with us, and an Italian major. Valentina, you can wait wherever you are. I want to uh, recognize who had a very serious problem uh, in the family, Isabella Cipollone Movilla, who couldn't be here tonight, but who won the Miriam Swannen Rutenberg in Lingua, at Best in Lingua Essay. A new prize that we organize in honor of our new one. And then more advanced students, Kalia Bisogno and Richard Leon, who don't know it yet because we uh, met today with the committees of the scholarship, have won the Lina Camicia Natu Scholarship for Excellence in Italian Studies. Bravissimo! Project re special research project for a book that she is translating from Italian to English. Amazing. <laughs> we have our master students, every level is represented, so that's why I really wanted to recognize everyone. Angelo, who maybe didn't arrive from Miami, but he was a master student, and Audra Dorante, who is our presenter, <laughs> who has been accepted at Ohio State University for a PhD, and she doesn't know it yet but she won the excellence in teaching and in uh, academic, the MA prizes of the languages and linguistics of the department. Congratulations. And then we want to uh, recognize Margarita, who comes from the Lifelong Learning Center. So we have really every, every lady to every level. And uh, the PhD student, uh, Ricardo Sabogal and Domenica Di Ravian, who just defended in his ABD, Bravissimo! <laughs> and her son, Alexander. And then the first Italian graduate with an Italian major, Pio Panzera. <laughs> and Roberto Castellano, did you make it? And that's, ah, there he is, from Miami, an ex-student and another one of our Italian majors. Roberto is here, Miriam. <laughs> For you. And then we have the whole Fontrap family, the, the Petener, Gabriele, Ida, Emanuele, Petener, Ilaria, and thank you. Then we have our videographer, Giulio, and uh, Luca Salani, who has helped with the technical parts. And then we wouldn't be Italian if we didn't recognize the mamme, the mother of our students, Mama Eileen Abisogno, Mama Lisa Leon, and Mama Marina Kipski. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> and then we have an entire family, the Nelson family, and Paolo Mangia, and uh, Petro Porcella, and Ed Catania with his beautiful wife, Angie, uh, who are always supporting and who didn't say, not even a second, they didn't even think of saying no when I asked them to sing with us. <laughs> Thank you so much. The choice was having three people for an audience because of COVID restrictions or just have everybody sing. And so we thought this is a real celebration and we are not these amazing singers that people come to see us, but we all we want to sing together. This is really the meaning of this celebration for, for Miriam. And uh, our sponsor of the Circolo, um, Antonella and Greece and the, the father, Mr. Salomone, I want to recognize them. And then the stars, obviously, I really hope I didn't forget anyone. Um, Mariana, I forgot Mariana, and, other, and Marjorie, there they are, Mariana, our graduates. Mariana, 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 Mariana yes, Italian 1120. And I think I got everyone. Thank you all for coming. It was amazing. Yolanda, thank you for coming to support Miriam. And our stars, Barbara Salani.
Sunny who really, without her, she always believed in this against all odds. And the fantastic Carlos de Antonis. Grazie, grazie, grazie. With much gratitude, we invite her to the stage for the closing greeting. Thank you so much, everybody. Grazie mille. Grazie mille della vostra presenza. Barbara, Carlos, I cannot get over it. Ilaria, this is, this is beyond my wildest expectations. I had not expected this. First of all, this was supposed to have been a zoo event in the beginning, right? right. And then, of course, I started shaking as soon as I was told that this, might, this event might take uh, place outside. But this, obviously, is just the perfect venue for it, though, isn't it? Okay. I feel very bad, actually, for Barbara and for Carlos for not having had a larger audience. But unfortunately, COVID, 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 right? We have to blame it all on COVID, so unfortunately that's the situation, it is what it is, but what do we do in Italian studies? We make limoncello from lemons, right? <laughs> it has been a very beautiful uh, 35 years. Um, part of that beauty uh, is the fact that the Italian studies program has from the very beginning worked with the community and as a matter of fact in the very early stages it was the Italian community and the Italian American community that worked with FAU. So uh, I am very very deeply embedded to especially my good friends in the Circolo that essentially with that first $5,000 and then another $5,000 and then $10,000 and then another couple of thousands of dollars in the course of the years and then with an annual uh, Incircolo Scholarship for Excellence in Italian Studies and then with $5,000 Incircolo Scholarships for study in Italy for the last 20 years so uh, for the last yeah, 20 years so this is just an incredible, incredible cooperation that has existed. So thank you so much. And now today, uh, it's not just, um, it's really not just the typical of, we have had incredible um, cooperation with other organizations such as the Sons of Italy, who all, they were always present for all the events in the very early stages of many. Um, if, uh, organizations such as Umbites, uh, organizations such as the Italian, the Italian American Cultural Society that threw another party a couple of weeks ago. So it has been an incredible run and I could not be happier. I would like to uh, you know, cite the list of Iraq that I've written for me. I'm not going to repeat it. I just want to thank all of you because you all have been part of this miracle that is the Italian Studies Program. It is, I think, honestly, it is a jewel in the crown of Italian studies nationwide. Yes. I really think so. I really, really mean that. It's not a lot of being I really think so. And to have the, co uh, the collaboration of the talents of people like Carlos and like Barbara, it's just incredible. And let me also um, recognize this very special person that is my husband, Mark Rutherford. Yeah. 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 I don't forget how much our, uh, our consorts have to have put up with over the years. How many missed dinners, how many missed weekends, how many missed so many things. Because Miriam was working, as uh, you know, Michael gave a couple of uh, examples of that a couple of weeks ago when we took the stage to talk. I'm actually out of breath and I don't know why. Probably because I was singing along the whole time. No. So, <laughs> uh, I do not know what else to say. Let me see. Um, there is one person who unfortunately cannot be here, has not been able to be here for any events, but I would like her name to be recognized. You have not met her yet. 
She has not been uh, feeling well, but she was one of our most loyal adjuncts in the Italian studies program. And her name is Gianna Pauletti Garofalo. And Pino Panzera over there took several courses with Gianna. And we went to her house, we had pool parties. <laughs> it was just an incredible. She had cooking lessons, all of those things. So um, this is somebody who's worth remembering and worth meeting still, as long as uh, as long as she is around, and she's still going to be around for uh, many years ago. Um, so I think this is pretty much all I have the breath to say. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And I hope to have an opportunity of doing this again. After one year, I'm allowed back, so I'm told. So yes. please tell me to come back. And come back. Come back. <laughs> In the meantime, my backyard is uh, Mark and I turned it into sort of extension of our living room. And we hope to have many events with members of the Chipotle and with members of the audience, with students, because now we don't have to worry anymore about the professional distance. So, <laughs> okay, I love you all and we will get time to come to me. Thank you so much for this incredible tribute, which is, I can't get over it, but I keep telling people, I'm not even dead yet, and they already have it in memoriam. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs>